Good morning, friends. I have a new video for you today presenting how I painted quickly the recent ancient Greek shield from Puppets War using the non-metallic metal technique. Moreover, I have a giveaway for you as well, where you can get the Alexandra of Macedon from Wargamer range. More on it later in this video. As usual, I started my work with the black undercoat. Which brand you use is always up to you. My idea was to make the shield a bit darker than usual, so I started with the zenithal highlight applied with an airbrush using the scorch wood paint from Green Stuff World. Also, I wanted the zenithal highlight to indicate me where should I focus more on highlights. Working with an airbrush speeds up that phase, which was followed directly by another zenithal highlight, the bestial brown paint. It already creates a nice transition from black at the bottom of the shield to the saturated brown at the top of it. Next I have used the dipping ink called the God Dip to enhance the shadows with some dark red tones to make the effect more interesting. I let it flow into recesses between those symbols as well. I mix it with a drop of medium to increase the flow however. Now I start the brushwork. With the mix of the English field brown and bleach bone, I'm starting highlighting the shield focusing on the upper part of the shield. Top edges, but also on the runes at the bottom where the zenithal highlight from the previous step hit. I'm getting fascinated by the texture added to the miniatures by many other miniature painters. This is why I use some unregular dots to continue highlighting the shield without focusing that much on smooth blending. A few thin coats were used to reach the anticipated effect. Next highlight will be made using the Avery Task paint. Again, my main focus is on the upper part of the shield, but also on the areas which we highlighted in the previous step. This step is rather rough. I don't pay too much attention on smoothness of the blends. I just keep on painting until I pick all the required areas. It reminds me a bit of canvas painting. From the close distance you can see all the brush strokes, but from the distance you obtain the final effect. I wanted to achieve such effect here too with the minimal effort. The final highlights are done of course with the pure white paint. In this step I wanted to achieve the highest contrast between those highlights and shadows, but also again I added some texture in the middle part of the shield.
And now the last step. I wanted to add some scratches which were inspired by the 300 movie. And now honestly, this movie is on my top 10 list ever. The idea is that the light comes from above, so it highlights the lower edge of the scratch. So I began with sketching the thin white lines. After that it was followed by the black lines, but I tried to leave a very thin white line below to indicate the highlighted edge. This point is tricky, but I think it was worth trying, because it gives some more ancient vibes to the shield. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video and I recommend checking my other painting tutorials. And now the giveaway. Let me know in the comment what is your most favorite board game slash miniature faction with an ancient history theme. This can be your own Space Marine Legion with a Spartan or Roman theme, or maybe your Warhammer Fantasy Elven army in the style of the ancient Greece, whatever you like. Be sure you subscribe my YouTube channel and you share the Facebook post containing the giveaway info from my profile, and in 10 days I will choose the most interesting comment which get the miniature of the Alexandra of Macedon from Wargamer range for free. See you soon, bye!